folks, Scott here with a new slider card for you today featuring the Art Impressions Mouse Slider Set. Now this is the first Art Impressions stamp that I have purchased. I love their stuff. I think it's adorable and hilarious. Uh, I really like these combo sets that include not only the stamps, but also the dies. I think they're a great value. I know I also bought this on sale because it's an older stamp set. But it is for use with the slider die. Now, I do not have the slider die. I did not buy the slider die. The slider die makes this little envelope with a hole in the center to put a pull tab in to make the slider card. So we need to figure out how to make a slider card without the die. Now, this is the pattern paper that I wanted to use. It's Pebbles Ink Forever My Always Paper Pad. And I needed to figure out how to make a background that would allow the centerpiece to slide. So these are my three pieces. My bottom piece here is actually two pieces of cardstock. You can see that there's a channel cut in the back one. The same for the top piece. Two pieces of cardstock with a little channel cut in the back piece. Now theoretically these little tabs on the centerpiece would lay on top of those channels and then slide back and forth with a stop at both ends. Now that's my concept for this and I think it will work and ultimately give us a very flat slider card. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Now I got a little bit ahead of myself and put these pieces together before I thought I'd do a video for this. So I drew all the pieces on a piece of paper so you can see what pieces I am using. These three pieces with patterns in them are obviously the pattern paper. The two white pieces are the extra cardstock glued to the back of the top and bottom. Here are measurements for you. Now this is all based on a five and a quarter by four inch background. So it leaves an eighth inch frame around this pattern paper. These are all the ins the dimensions. If you want to freeze right here and write them all down, please do so. <laughs> but let's do a little bit of a dry fit here. Let's see how these pieces work. We'll just use a little bit of my Tombow dot adhesive tape runner. Just touches of those on the two ends of the top and bottom. And we can stick those down to the card front and see how these work. I, of course, already cut these out of my pattern paper. I stamped and embossed the pull on the right side of the pull tab. On the top and bottom, I added a bunch of those Love die cuts from the die in the kit. I just used that die and cut a bunch of scrap white cardstock, glued those down to the top and bottom in a little bit of a pattern. I really like that. You'll notice that I also added some Love From Lizzie clear glitter peel-offs to the top and bottom of the top and bottom piece there. Got a little bit ahead of myself, but let's do a little dry fit here. Just touches of glue on the two sides of the top and bottom. Put it all on our card base and see how this works. It looks good. That center piece does slide. Once everything's glued down, it should help hold it into place. But I think that's a pretty good dry fit. I think this should do what we're asking it to do. I stamped the images with my Simon Says Stamp Intense Black ink and decided to color a pair of these mice with my Spectracolor colored pencils. Now, I bought these pencils almost 30 years ago, I think. <laughs> Spectracolor became Prismacolor in the ensuing years. But let me tell you, these pencils may be old, but they work brilliantly. I love this pencil set. I bought it. If it's not 30 years old, it is very close to being 30 years old. These colors are still nice and malleable, very easy to use. There are four warm grays in this set. So there's a very light warm gray, a light gray, a medium gray, and a dark gray, all in warm grays. So I decided to do my mice in gray for this pair. I really like the warm gray here. It's got a nice hint of brown to it. I decided to color his, up his shirt in blue and yellow. Just two colors each of blue and yellow. Blue and yellow should go well with our red background paper. Blue, yellow, and red I think are complementary colors. 
or whatever. <laughs> so there I zoomed in a little bit more to see me coloring Mrs. Mouse. Again, the same four gray colors to color her up. I do think that the secret to coloring with colored pencils is just to color very lightly and make very many layers. Just keep going over and over with a light touch each time and you can get a really nice colored effect. I also love the fact that colored pencils can give you some really nice detail on these small images. I did actually color another pair of these mice with my Spectrum Noir alcohol markers and I didn't get quite as good of a result as I did with my colored pencils, partly because the images are so small and partly because I think I chose wrong colors <laughs> or just colors that didn't necessarily work perfectly for me. But I like this blue and yellow. I like my gray mice instead of brown mice and I really enjoy coloring with colored pencils. It may take a little bit of time but I just turn on some music and zen into coloring. So we'll cut these images out on my cuddle bug with the dies that came in the scent. I really like that. Great value. These cut out just brilliantly. You can see my other pair of mice that I colored previously right there. These are my Spectrum Noir alcohol colored mice. Now those are brown mice in purple and green versus my gray mice in blue and yellow. I wasn't totally thrilled with my alcohol marker coloring. I really like my pencil coloring, but let's see which pair looks the best on this red heart pattern paper. So let's take these guys, add them to our pattern paper and see how they look. Here's the brown and the purple. That purple seems awfully close to that red. Here's our gray and blue. Back to the brown and purple. Um, I think the gray and blue mice kind of pop on that page a little bit better than the brown and purple mice do. I think a lot of that has to do with how dark the purple dress is. So we're going with the gray mice. Now we got to figure out where the end of this slider is. Where do these guys hug? So I'm going to tape the two of these guys together where I think they're going to end up and I'm going to put some foam squares on the back of Mrs. Mouse right where she runs into Mr. Mouse so that should stop the tab from pulling to the right she'll bump into Mr. Mouse and that will be the completion of the pull tab just like that I'll finish the back of her off with some more foam squares she's going to be the only piece that has any real dimension on this card so let's throw caution to the wind and glue this stuff down. I have not tried this kind of a slider card before, so it's a bit of a crapshoot. We shall rise to the challenge or we shall fail together. <laughs> So I, of course, use my multimedia mat. That's my favorite liquid glue. Gives you a little bit of wiggle room to make sure that everything gets placed in the right position. The multimedia mat dries mat. So if you get some glue somewhere where you don't want it, if it dries, you won't see it. There will be no shine. It's very camouflaged. So that seems to be working pretty good. I just have to get everything to stick and hold in position. The tab works. I think we've got it pretty good. Let's let it dry underneath my Misty. <laughs> so that's all dried. Let's do a little dry fit on the mice. So just little touches of dot adhesive on the top and bottom of Mr. Mouse, some on the back of her. This is where she pulls to. That looks about right, but we've got a big white hole on the left side of the card. That's right, I forgot to put a sentiment on this card. I've got an opening that's two and a quarter by one and a half inch wide. Now I should have printed this before I glued anything to the front of this card base, but the mice are not attached. That center pull tab can be removed from the card. So I'm going to try and send this through my printer and print up my sentiment. 
best part of my day. Lo and behold, glory be, <laughs> I actually got that cardstock to go through my printer and printed this sentiment right on my cardstock. I was a little shocked. This is the Smoothie Shop font, the best part of my day. Created that my silhouette software and printed it directly on the card. I was very, very pleased with that. Now I did pick up a little bit of leftover ink from my rollers, especially on those bottom love die cuts. You can see it here and there, just little spots. I was able to take my sand eraser to those and remove those. At the very end, you can see it nice and clean. But for a thumb notch, a little half inch circle punch, We'll cut out my thumb notch. It doesn't need to be very big. And I should have printed this and put the thumb notch in before I glued anything down. But fortunately, we can pop that slider back into the place where it belongs. There we go. Now, since the male mouse, since Mr. Mouse glues to the right side on the top and the bottom, he's going to hold the right side of that tab down so the tab won't pull out of its slot because he's keeping it in place. So let's go ahead and attach Mr. and Mrs. Mouse to this pull tab. Back to my multimedia mat. I love that glue. Just touches on his top and bottom. That's where I came out with the dimensions for these three pieces because that's how tall he was. I knew he had to span that centerpiece. There you go. I dropped him. I know I got some stray glue on there. Look at me wipe it off on the right side there. <laughs> and it disappears. It's totally gone. Now he's having a little problem sticking because of the peel-offs, I think. He's got to stick to the cardstock and not the peel-offs. But we get him down nice and tight. Let's add Mrs. Mouse. We'll peel off the liners from the foam squares and set her down lightly on the left in case we need to move her a little bit. I think she needs to go a little bit more towards the center. That's nice. Her foot runs along the bottom along the same plane where his feet are. She snuggles up to him really nicely. It's pretty close. I think she's kind of nuzzling into his chest there. I think I would like a little bit more room between them, I think. Let's see what happens if we make her stand up just a little bit straighter. Just a tiny bit. And there we go. I think that's nice. It gives us a little air between them so she's not like totally suffocating him. Press everything down tightly. This is my virtually flat slider card using the Art Impression mouse slider set. I really had a good time working on this card. I thought I would share it with you because it's a fairly unique way of doing a slider card with a sentiment reveal. Best part of my day is when I can hug you. <laughs> now here you can see those dots of black on that love die cuts on the bottom. Those will disappear in just a moment. There you go, nice and clean. <laughs> Love that sand eraser. <laughs> I really enjoyed putting this card together and coming up with this unique slider card mechanism. Makes for a very flat, easily mailable slider card. I hope you folks enjoyed this little tutorial too. I hope I've inspired you to think outside the box. Please like me, list me, pin me, post me, share me with all of your friends. Don't run with scissors and happy crafting.